my beautiful friends and welcome back to the channel. It's Sue. Today I have an eyeliner going on which I'm still not sure if it's the right one for me so let me know if it's not. Today I'm going through all of my purses so if you've been following me along I am going through everything in my closet. This is my closet here and I fit all of my clothes in here which is insane because I have just a ton of stuff that I do not wear. I'm going through today all of my purses and bags because I realized that there are some that I have just such an emotional attachment to that I might not even use anymore, which is just taking up space in my closet. Also in a couple of weeks, I will be moving and I don't want to be taking all of these purses with me if I just like have not been using it. So let's go through each one of my purses. I will talk about it a little and we can decide together if I should keep it or not. Let's start off with the purses that I use literally all the time and I will not be getting rid of because they are just a staple to my life and my style. First is this one. There's a bunch of stuff in here right now because I am using it today. It is a JW Pay purse. I think like three years ago, everybody and their moms had a JW Pay purse, particularly this style that I saw on the street all the time, especially in New York. I wanted something different from that. And so I got this one. The reason why I got this one is because I really, really wanted a Ferragamo purse that was similar in shape. And so I got this one just because it's like 5% of the cost of the Ferragamo purse. This one really is great. Considering that I bought it for like 60 bucks, it has held its shape so well. None of the scratches appear on the surface, even though I've banged this up so many times. It has a long strap that I wear as a crossbody. And then it comes with like a much, much shorter strap. The strap is like this big. It's to the point where you can't fit it on your shoulder. It's so short, but you can switch between those two straps using this gold little hook here. And it fits quite a bit of stuff. Like I can show you what's in here right now if you wanted to see. So I have my wallet. I have a portable charger. I have my Invisalign case, mints. I have a hair clip, a hand sanitizer, and four lip products. And it actually fits more. There are some days where I put hands, like hand wipes in there. I will put my mini toothbrush and toothpaste in there. So, so much goes in here and I love it. There is also so many different colors that this comes in and different shapes. So if you're looking for a JW Pay purse, I like this one in particular. And I like that it has like a little slit in the back. And it also has a zippered pocket at the top here. Very slim, casual, affordable. Probably my second most used bag is the Coach Tabby. I hate to say it, but I got it way before it was trending. I've had it for years and years and I love it. I got this beige brown color. I will say I've worn it so aggressively that the back is slightly stained. So I have to get it cleaned up and I've put this little palm on it. It comes with a long strap like this. So if I want to wear it crossbody, and then it comes with a short strap like this for a shoulder bag. And then on top of that, I also bought a gold chain to use with it. So I will carry the gold chain if I want something a little bit more elevated. And the gold was also from Coach. I bought it on the same day that matches this color. So it looks very slick. And I think this bag is so good for everyday use, also travel. It has this long piece here, and then this zipper where I'll usually keep my wallet and anything important. And then it has a back slit here, and then also a small little pocket for anything else important. And then in the back here, it also has a slit. I don't put anything in here because I don't want to stretch it out. But this is probably my everyday summer, winter, spring, fall bag because it's just perfectly neutral. I have worn it with every outfit combination in my closet because it just makes sense with everything I do. I think getting the extra chain was also helpful because I can now style it up or down. I know that this retails for over like $400, but I bought it so early on, I actually only got it for $200. Crazy to me because this is such a steal. I've been using it for years and I love it. I don't know who I'd be without this bag. I love the tabby. 
Another bag that you will see me using a lot is this one. This is a Madewell bag. The reason why I got this one is because I found out that Madewell has some of the best leather on the market that's actually affordable. I am a huge Madewell girl. Like I shop there literally all the time. And so when I saw this bag that was on mega mega sale, I was like, you know what? I think I want to get it. I will say that I've used it for so many different occasions and it still smells like the real leather that I got the first day. It doesn't look like much. I will say the shape is not my favorite. The reason why I did get it is because when I scrunch it up like this, I love the way it looks. It just looks like a little pouch and I think that's really cute. It did come with a strap, so it does become a crossbody. And the strap is really short, so I can wear it like right above my hip here which I really like and the handles are really cute. It fits so, so much. And considering I only got it for like 40 to $50 with genuine great quality leather, I love it. The strap comes off. So if you ever wanna take it off and use a different chain, as I mentioned before, I do have a gold chain that I will occasionally use for my coach bag and I will throw that on here if I want to, just to elevate this purse. I love it. This is like the super casual purse that I have. I will use this for like every day, just running out of my building. Easy, simple, affordable. If you're looking for a good leather quality for a great price, I would recommend anything from Madewell because their leather is such great quality. This is the newest purse in my collection. If you saw my birthday vlog, you will have seen that I bought myself this Stod purse. I love all things Stod. I have been eyeing their beaded bag collection for years and years and have not been able to convince myself to just jump the gun and buy one. And then I got an Instagram ad that this particular Stod purse was on sale on Bloomingdale's. And I was wondering if I should get it because originally I had wanted like this caramel chestnutty brown color. And this one, I don't know if you can tell, has a slight red hue. And so I was worried that I wouldn't like it, but I fell in love with this one. I think the structure of this bag is so pretty and it works well with so many outfit combinations. I was also worried that this red color would be a little too wintry, but now that it's getting warmer, I feel like it's still such a classic, beautiful color. The things I love about this bag, first and foremost, the handles are such a beautiful, beautiful structure. And then the bottom has these little pegs so that the leather is not directly touching whatever surface it's on. It does come with a very long strap so I can wear it across body. And then it is also a silver detail purse because I am a silver and gold girly. Like I like to mix my metals. So if I'm going for something silver, I will go for this bag. The great thing about this purse is that it came with a pouch that fits perfectly in here. And so the concern that I have with most bags that are top handle like this is that if they don't zipper, then I will get my stuff stolen on the New York City subway or I'll just knock my purse over and everything will fall out. So I was really happy that this came with a pouch that fits perfectly snug in here. I'm not gonna pull it out because it's so snug in here. And then the pouch zips up. So anything that's super important, I'll put in the pouch and zip up and it will not come out because the pouch is so snug in here. I just feel like this is such a timeless classic piece and I got it for such a great price and I am so happy. I wish I could get one in every single color because this is so beautiful. I think that the stitching detail is really great. I'm happy to have gotten this for myself. It's such a piece that I love. I remember the exact YouTube video that I watched back in 2018 that made me want to get this purse. And then I waited like three-ish years before I actually ended up buying it because I couldn't decide on a color and you probably already know which purse it is, but it is the Marc Jacobs camera shop bag and I got it in the color pink and yellow. So I used to go to the shop religiously, especially the one in Soho, where I would go and look at all the different colors and decide I could not pick one. And then I decided just one day to jump the gun and get this one. So this one's yellow on the side here and then pink on the front. It says Marc Jacobs. It has a little bit of a green brown detail and it has the gold hardware. And I love this one because it is so small and cute. 
I think the pink is such a good choice for me, especially because I wear so many solid colors. Like I wear a lot of black, gray, and so when I pop this on, I feel like I've really made a good choice with the coloring here. When I bought this purse, my sister actually got one in green and she and I trade every so often because they are just such fun bags. I love that you can swap out the strap and you can buy different ones. They have so many different colors and honestly, this was so worth it to me. The only thing I don't like about this purse is that it does not fit that much. And I remember one of my best friends was considering buying this one, but when I showed her how little goes in here, she decided against it. And so, yeah, it does not fit that much, but for a small purse, it's so cute. I have traveled with this to London and I really liked using it there. I wasn't carrying a whole lot anyways, so this was great for that. And the zippers are fun. They go in different directions. Cute. My sister has told me that this bag is giving adult grown up which i guess i should lean into now that i'm nearing towards the end of my 20s so this bag i thrifted on thread up if you don't know i love thread up i buy so much stuff there i like the idea that these things were supposed to go to the landfill but i am giving them a new home like the stod bag this has stud the bottom so that it doesn't hit the floor and this bag was originally from fossil and the hardware, I'm not gonna lie, it's been through it. Uh, but this bag, I think the shape is so pretty. I like that it's shiny and it fits so, so much stuff. I have put an entire scarf in here. My little rain jacket, I've rolled it up and put it in here. You can put so much stuff in here. The only problem I have with this bag is that it doesn't really close. Like this does nothing to the closure. And so if I went like this, then everything, like my floss and lip gloss would all fall out. But I think that this is such a perfect shoulder bag for me because it's not as big as some of the big shoulder hobo bags because those look massive on me. I look like I'm carrying my mom's bag. So this one is perfect for me. If you wanna shop on ThreadUp, I do have a little discount code down below. Highly, highly recommend. You can search up such amazing brands. I love all things fossil. I used to have a fossil bag when I was in high school that I absolutely loved. And so the quality of the leather is so good. This must have been used for years and years before it landed in my hands and it still holds up so well. <sighs> Just bags with the pop of color are really my thing. I mean, this bag, I still think it's so cute. I have a friend who is anti-Kate Spade and she has given me shit about this bag, but I mean, it's that beautiful red. When it comes to the holidays, I love carrying this bag. When it comes to vibrant summer days, I love this bag. The great thing about this bag is the top handle is really, really pretty. So if I just shove the crossbody string in there, then this bag is so cute. I feel festive, I feel colorful. This bag carries a lot in the winter. I've put my mittens in here, I've put a little cardigan in here, and I will throw in like a mini toothbrush, toothpaste, everything in here. And then it also carries its own crossbody, which I love because I do tend to like carrying things by the top handle, which is why I have a lot of bags with the top handle. But if it gets too heavy or exhausting, I will put on the crossbody strap. It carries a lot. Again, it has the studs at the bottom, which I love. And I think this red color is just really pretty. I love just having a solid base with this pop of color. This bag has held up its shape so well throughout the years, considering I've had this for so, so long. This Kate Spade bag has done itself so well. I am not getting rid of this, even though I've had it forever because it is just stunning, I think. Those are the bags that I use all the time. Let's go to bags that I use far less frequently and why I still have them. This bag I got as a gift. I have loved it for so many years and I don't think I'll ever have another purse like it. So I'm keeping it forever. Look at this. The thing I like about this bag is that this chain can be used in so many different ways. So I can carry it like this. I can do it long, like a crossbody. I mean, look at how pretty this is. It is so fun for nights when I'm going out. 
As I've mentioned before, I am both a silver and gold girly, so I like to mix and match metals. So having this beautiful silver piece is just so stunning, I think, especially on nights where I'm wearing like all black. This is so pretty. I got it as a gift, but it's from Urban Outfitters. And I will say that given that it was probably like 20 bucks, it has held up many nights at the bar because I don't know, like you would think that this is really delicate, but it's quite the opposite. I have thrown it around and it has survived. I like that you kind of tug at the top, like a little drawstring bag and it closes. I will say that it does open up. So I do have to like tie it so that my wallet doesn't fall out when I'm like dancing at the club. But this is such a perfect, perfect mini purse because while it is really small, it does hold my ID and credit card and like a lip gloss. So that's really all you need on a night out. I've never washed this bag and I think I might have to sometime soon. This is my sporty bag, I guess. Like this is a fanny pack, which I love that fanny packs have come back in the last 10 years because they're actually so versatile. This one is like a neon yellow color and I will wear it strapped across my chest like this. What I love about this one is that it holds oh so many things. I have put an entire jean jacket in here. It's amazing. I love this one for festivals because of the fabric. It is not heavy and it has so many pockets. Like there's a back pocket here where I'll put my essentials. And then this front pocket, this is where I put the jean jacket. I don't know how. And then this little netting here for point stuff, it actually still smells like sunblock. Having a good fanny pack is such a great investment. You can throw it around your outfits on any given day and just run out the door. I know everybody and their mom loves the little crescent looking bag from Uniqlo or the Lululemon bag, both of which are great, I think, but this one holds way more stuff than the Lululemon bag. And I do think this one's a little bit prettier than the Uniqlo bag. Although that one's also really casual and this one's kind of athletic-y. Great for festivals. Probably when Coachella comes around, I will be showing you guys what I throw in my festival bag and everything that fits in here. You know in Gossip Girl how Serena is always carrying a massive hobo bag? This is what I feel when I'm carrying this bag in New York City. This is like my professional bag. Back when I used to have to go into an office, this is what I would put my laptop in and I would carry this around in the subway. I like this one because it has like a longer strap for my shoulder and then also a shorter strap here so I can carry it by hand. Of course, it has a zipper at the top. And then what I like about this bag in particular is that it has rose gold detailing. So not gold hardware and not silver hardware, but this is like a rose gold kind of hardware, which I really like. This was taken from my mom's closet. Sorry, mom. But it has so, so many pockets in here. It's a zipper. And then it has like a middle section that is also separately zippered. So I can put my even more private stuff in here. You can fit laptops, mini umbrellas, water bottles, everything goes in this bag. And I love that. It is a little bit heavy considering it is like kind of a work bag, but if I ever need to wear something a little bit more elevated and carry a ton of stuff, this is the bag that I'm leaning towards. If I don't have to be super formal or elevated, I would usually carry a backpack or a, like a canvas tote, but this bag is for those nicer days where I want to carry a lot of stuff. Speaking of backpacks, let's go there. This is the smallest one that I have. This is a Fjall Raven Kanken. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but a couple of years ago, I went to Sweden and I bought this one for myself and I love it. I love it so, so much. It really, really lives up to the hype. First of all, this top handle here, amazing. This little zipper pocket, easy to use. Straps are super, super small, but it fits like perfectly so that I don't have to adjust it. I feel kind of like a little kid when I carry it, but I kind of enjoy that as well. I carried this all throughout Coachella last year and it was the perfect size. I was able to put a hoodie in here along with my boyfriend's windbreaker, sunglasses, an extra pair of socks, 
a mini water bottle, all of that fit in here with no problem. And it's so, so light. Like I can carry this all day in a festival and still be comfortable with it. Also what I liked about this one is that after I went to Coachella, it was absolutely disgusting, like covered in sand and dirt and sweat. And so I soaked it and I hand washed it and all the color came right off and it is good as new. I mean, it's all like wrinkly now because I didn't perfectly dry it, but in terms of shape and color, perfect, good as new. If this ever rips, I will totally be buying a new one, even though I would sob a little bit. This is so great. Anybody on the fence about buying one should definitely get one in any size. Backpack number two. This is like a faux denim kind of canvas backpack that I got at Urban Outfitters probably seven years ago. I was definitely still in college and it has held up so well, especially considering that for the first few years, I was primarily carrying this to the gym and to the beach. So I was abusing it like no other and it has held up so well. I remember for sure I bought it for $5 at Urban Outfitters because it was on mega sale and I really like it. It is extremely casual, so it's not for an everyday thing for me, but it holds everything that I need and I like the denim color. I think it's really fun and not a lot of backpacks are like this. So it has held up and I don't know if I ever wanna get rid of it. Last but not least, the absolute icon of my life, this Calpac backpack. Look at how big it is compared to me. It is a little bit bigger than I am, but it has all of the things I've ever, ever wanted in a backpack. And I love, love talking about it. It has everything. I got it for my birthday slash Christmas and I asked for it specifically because I saw it in an airport and I fell in love with it. It has everything I have ever wanted. It has a water bottle pocket that's very big for a huge water bottle. It has a separate compartment for your laptops plural you can fit one there's like a pocket here for one and then a pocket here for two two separate laptops and then additionally there's a, more pockets here for other stuff like your chargers your airpods etc and then the main compartment also has so many pockets there's two in the back here there's a mesh one up in the front there's two at the bottom as well so one two three four five in the main portion of this backpack. And then this front zipper here for any other things that you need to grab quickly. And then last but not least, it has this little side pocket, which I thought was originally for umbrellas because the sleeve is this long and it goes into the backpack. But now I'm thinking that it's for shoes. Like when you go on a weekend trip and you want to bring just one backpack, you could absolutely fit all of it in here and you could fit like some slides or maybe even small sneakers in here. Amazing. It's super light. It has like the thing here where you can put it onto a carry-on. Oh, I just discovered, I didn't even know this had this, that this sleeve also has a zipper pocket. That's amazing. See, this is what I'm saying. This backpack is so good. It has so many things that I love about it. Also this color that my sister picked out, so pretty amazing, best value, great travel bag. In addition to those bags that I have here, I have a bunch of like canvas totes that I use every day when I go grocery shopping. I will not show those here. And that's pretty much all of my bags. I do have a couple at my parents' house that I never ever use and I've just been storing just in case I need them for something which is one of those hoarder mentality things I need to let go of because why am I storing them there? Anyways, that is all of my purses and backpacks. This video is longer than I thought because I just got excited talking about my purses. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.